Hey guys, how's it going? This is Todd with Shutterstock, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you all about crane shots. So, what is a crane shot? Well, it's basically when the camera moves up and down like this. So you got tilts, pans, tracking shots, dolly shots. This is when the camera moves physically up and down. And to do that, you need a piece of gear called a jib. And this particular jib right here is called the Kessler Pocket Jib. Like its namesake, you can fit it right in your pocket. I'm just kidding. This particular jib is really easy to set up. It's really quick, it's really small, and I highly recommend it just for your standard kind of location type shoots. This one's a pretty small style one. You can really only fit a certain size of camera on there. There's obviously ones with big giant remote heads where there's a guy with like a joystick. You know, the kind of stuff that you'd see floating over like a Justin Bieber concert. Now, the main function of a jib is to basically extend your camera out over a tripod and as you move the camera up and down, it keeps the camera level. So as you see there, as the camera is moving up and down, the lens is staying level or parallel to the ground. Now, in this case, we have a tripod head on the end of it and what that allows us to do is basically make a camera move as we are doing the jib movement. So how does a jib work? Basically, you have a set of sticks, which is, uh, you know, your tripod. Off of the tripod, there's a panning action where you can move the camera side to side. And then obviously you have the fulcrum, which is where the center of gravity is going to be. And every jib is going to have some sort of counterweight system. So in this case, we just have a 2.5 pound weight. And the goal of the counterweight is to basically allow you to let go of the jib and the weight is all balanced throughout. And a properly balanced jib allows you to make very smooth motion. So what are some good times to use a jib shot? Well, one of the main ones is for establishing shots. And you always wanna give your audience some sort of idea of where they're at. Now, a lot of times, you'll just throw in a wide lens, stick it on a tripod and get a nice wide shot, and that's totally fine, but in this case, we want to add a little bit of motion. So if you're going to do an establishing shot and you'd like to just put a little extra spice on that bad boy, use a jib shot. And it just, you know, it's production value, it looks nice, and it really brings the audience into your scene. Another great example of one of the benefits of using a crane shot is it allows you to put the camera in places that you wouldn't with the tripod. So say you wanna get kind of a neat top-down view of something, a really easy way to, to do it is with a jib. And right there, you've got a really nice top-down shot that you can extend kind of over a table. Or also say you wanna get a top-down shot of someone working at their desk or something like that for a corporate video. This is a great way to get that shot. When you're doing a crane shot, it's always a good idea to think about your foreground. Foreground is really important. If you have something in the foreground, say a chair, someone walking through the frame, or even like a fence or something like that, the movement of your camera is gonna be quite a bit more exaggerated and it's gonna give it more of a cool effect. So those are just some of the basic thoughts and ideas behind crane shots. Definitely give them a shot, they're a lot of fun. And as always guys, thanks for watching.